Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to learn all about crabs. So, let's get started. The first thing we're re going to do is play a little game called What? The name of that body part. Now, I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures of crabs. And you're re going to tell me in the comments below what the name of that body part is. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. First up, we have the abdomen. Now some people call these the butt of the crab, because it kind of looks like a butt. However, the correct name is the abdomen. The abdomen is where the important stuff is held. It's got the gills, the heart, and most of the main organs. Next up, we have the carapin. This is the hard shell that goes over the top of the crab and protects its head and its thorax, or chest area. Moving on, we have the chelips. These are the two large claws at the front of the crab. Some people might call these the hands of the crab, but the correct name is chelips. Next up, we have the thorax. Like I mentioned before, this is the chest of the crab and it connects the abdomen to the legs. Next up, we have the legs. Obviously, the legs help the crab to walk and run around. A lot of people call these feet. But technically speaking, they are legs. Now, next up, we have the swimmerets. These are the little feet on the underside of the abdomen that the crab uses to swim with. Some people call these tails. But technically speaking, they are sw This is the pointy bit at the front of the carapace. Some people call this the nose of the crab. But technically speaking, it's not a nose. It's actually called the rostrum. So those are some of the names of the different parts of a crab. But now, let's move on to the next section. Now that you know all the names of the different parts of a crab, let's take a look at how a crab grows. When a crab is first born, it is called a zoea. The word zoea is actually Greek for the word life. The baby crabs live in the water and they eat. After about three weeks, they grow legs and they become megalop. Megalopa means great tail in Greek. Now they can live in both salt and fresh water. And after about another three weeks, they grow a shell and they become a juvenile crab. Finally, once they are fully grown, they become an adult crab. Adult crabs live on land and they mostly eat other animals. So that is how a crab grows from when it's first born until it becomes an adult. One of the best things about crabs is that we can see them do something really cool called molting is when the crab gets a new shell. As the crab is growing underneath its old shell, it makes a new, bigger shell. Then it cracks its old shell and it wriggles out of it. Then it will wait for the new shell to harden. And then it will be ready to go exploring. Speaking of shells, did you know that there are lots of different types of shells that crabs can have? There are 6,000 different types of crab shells. They can be red, blue, brown, green, purple, and every color in between. They can also be spotted, striped, or sp There are so many beautiful crabs out there. And speaking of beautiful crabs, did you know that the largest crab ever recorded was a Japanese spider crab? It had a leg span of 3.8 meters, and it weighed 20 k That's almost as big as me! The smallest crab ever recorded was only one millimeter long. That's smaller than the tip of my fingernail. Crabs are also super strong. The blue crab can carry 40 times its own weight. If that was a person, that would be like carrying 10 adults. That's pretty strong. And crabs are also super fast. The robber crab can run as fast as 25 kilometers per hour. That's faster than most land animals. And finally, crabs live all over the world. You can find them in the ocean, in rivers, and even in puddles. In fact, there are more types of crabs than any other animal in the world. There are 6,700 types of crabs, compared to 5,700 types of beetles. That means that crabs are the most numerous animal in the world. There are so many amazing facts about crabs, but I can't fit them all in one video. 
so I'll tell you some more later. Now it's time for a fun crab activity. We're going to draw a crab now. I've already drawn mine, so I'm going to show you mine first, and then I LL show you yours. First, I drew a circle for the body, and then I drew two circles for the eyes. Then I drew lines for the legs and the claws. Finally, I colored in my crab. It looks so good. Now, I can't wait to see your drawing. Please put a picture of your drawing in the comments below. Now it's time for another fun crab activity. I am going to tell you a few facts about crabs, and you are re-going to tell me which one is true and which one is false. Ready? Let's begin. Fact, no. One, a crab's shell grows with it. Fact, no. Two, crabs have to molt if they want to grow a new shell. Fact, no. Three, crabs can only live in salt water. So which one is true and which one is false? Well, fact no. One is false because a crab's shell does not grow with it. Instead, it has to make a new shell. Fact no. Two is true. Crabs have to molt if they want to grow a new shell. And fact no. Three is false because crabs can live in salt and fresh water. In fact, some crabs can even live in puddles. So, those are some fun facts about crabs. Now it's time for our final crab activity. I'm going to ask you some questions about crabs, and you're re going to answer them in the comments below. Question no. One. What is the largest crab ever recorded? Question no. Two. What do baby crabs look like? Question no. Three. What do you call the two large claws at the front of a crab? Well, the answers are question no. One, the Japanese spider crab. Question no. Two, baby crabs look like tiny little lobsters. And question no. Three, you call the two large claws at the front of a crab. So those are some challenging questions about crabs. I hope you learned lots of fun facts about crabs today. Now it's time to say goodbye. If you liked learning about crabs, please click the like button. If you want to learn more about crabs, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.